once it's installed, there's potholes, potholes, oh my god, potholes. But we'll give it a go. What can go wrong? <laughs> We have had some bad news. Um, so that's going to be the shower in the van. It's a Crydex. Well, that will go down into the waste pipe in the floor, which we need to drill. Welcome to a new vlog. Finally, we're ready. We're off to Hull. Right, we're in the car. We're on our way. So um, we were just waiting for Cam to find his shoes, which he lost last night and ended up putting under Lee's laptop bag. So it took 15 minutes for Cam to get ready. It's usually mile. Lee to get Turn ready, right isn't it? I've been ready eight hours. Um, so we're on our way to Hull. We're gonna head down um, the fruit, is it Fruit Street or Fruit Market, Market Street? Yeah. Fruit Market Street. There's some nice trendy restaurants and bars down there. We're gonna have something. Uh, we were gonna go to Wings, but Mark has this thing where if he eats at three o'clock in the afternoon, he gets the runs. So he don't, <laughs> he don't want anything. So uh, I'm sure Mark will appreciate um, me, me telling everybody that. But um, we're not gonna starve for him. They could just sit and watch us, couldn't they? We'll have a bow bun or something. Yeah. Um, oh no, I don't, I don't think they do it. Well, you we'll can have some basket pan. So. Yeah. Um, so, in the next vlog, possibly this vlog, I will show you the full electrical system that we've put in the van. Uh, it's now finished. It took me how many days? Three days? Not, not too long. Three full days to do it. Lots of learning curves on the way. A lot of people have said on our Orlando Facebook, not our Orlando Facebook group, our normal Facebook group, um, that they can't wait to watch us make all the mistakes and learn from them. Um, and we've certainly done that with a lot of things. I've managed to um, get the alternator cables under the floor. Unbelievable. I was laid in bed this morning looking at a photo and I noticed that one of the channels under the floor was quite large. So I went and found it outside and pushed the cable through and with a bit of jigging and a bit of poking and a bit of drilling at the far end, I managed to get the cables in. So. Um, the conduit that we bought doesn't need to go under the van anymore and the garage that we had it booked in with um, tomorrow he was going to connect it in for me but um, that's one thing off his list now but he's going to fix the water bottle the drive belt and the interior lights tomorrow isn't it yeah so but we will give you a full explanation and tour of the electrical systems in the van in the next um van build section of our vlogs maybe this video maybe next video i don't know yet um but I've really enjoyed doing it actually. And I thought it would be extremely hard. And after reading the instruction manuals that we got from the company that we bought it all from, and I will explain a little bit about them when we get to doing the tour, um, it's been really, really, well, giddy, exciting kind of thing. And Lee's it's missed it all. It's satisfaction, isn't it? It is. Of doing it and then seeing the finished result. The fact that the most complicated bit that I wasn't looking forward to was gonna be doing the electrics. Yeah. Um, and I've done it. And it's just the fact that I knew nothing about it and I've managed to do it. I mean, as I said in the in the last vlog, we do we are gonna get it all checked once it's um Ooh. once it's installed. There's potholes, potholes, oh my god, potholes. Frick we need new cool. tires. Um what were I saying? You throw me off. We're gonna get it all checked. Oh yeah, we're gonna get it all checked. Um the gas I'm not doing, I'm not even gonna to attempt to do a gas. We've got um a, a conversion company that's gonna do that for us. And he's gonna supply like a gas a gas low tank so we can fill it up at petrol stations so we don't have to keep changing gas bottles and things like that. But um we're all done. The only thing I've not tested on the um on the electrical systems is the inverter. So that will be the next big thing to test, but we'll do that in the next vlog. down to Humber Street in Hull uh, where the fruit markets are and stuff like that. Oh, I've been here a it's couple called of the times. fruit market but I can never see a fruit market. Do you know what's missing? What? That place that does the cannolis. And this is new as well. Cuban Look at this. Pizza. Cuban Pete's, that's new. That used to be the gym bar. Oh yeah, gym bar closed down didn't it? Yeah. It, went, it went bust. So there's lots of eateries on here and stuff like that. And allowed bottomless brunch, allowed $35, 35 oh, quid bottomless per Bottomless brunch, I always fancied a bottomless brunch. Never had one yet. You're driving. Um, so we're gonna go to tap house yes and maybe get like a bow bun or some loaded fries or something like that and a nail right our food's here we've got um loaded fries 
guys. Ooh. And mm. a bow bun each. Definitely glad we got one each. Teriyaki and fried chicken for you. Are you sure? Yep. Oh, I want to swap some chicken from yours. Absolutely beautiful. We've only ever been here once in two years and they only serve food Wednesday through to Sunday. And luckily today is Thursday. It's delicious. How's your beer? That is amazing. Cloud piercer. It's um, it's weird tasting. It's not fruity, not sweet, but it's, it's just strange but nice. Right, that was very nice. The guys tried some different flavoured ciders and stuff. Pineapple, rhubarb. rhubarb. Ooh, nice. Things like that. And they that got a couple of beers. Like, that pineapple were like the man from Del Monte had opened it in. It was very nice. It was just like pineapple juice. You couldn't even tell that there were any alcohol in it. So we're going to call it a shop on the way back. Nick's going to do a chicken and bacon tagliatelle. Four cheese, four cheese tagliatelle. Yeah. The same as what I made in France, but without the um, reblochin, because I'm not going to get that from the co-op. Next stop is next. For? For us. For? Bath and Body Works. We've got a Bath and Body Works. Have you not been to one before in the UK? Have yeah, they been to this one before? Yeah. Have had, they? We That's why they want to go. Oh, oh it's, well, it's, to be honest, it's shit compared so to America. Small. It's a little small. It's small and expensive, but they uh, they still don't do the full range. They only do like the soaps and the candles, but they don't do like the car air fresheners and things like that. But um, it's getting there. The price is not that one. New Coco Paradise. Is it like cookies? I don't know. Is it, it like coconut? Is it coconut? Well, wait a minute, it's called Coco, that's why. Coco Paradise. I know. It smells like what you do when you when you put your greens on on a night. Oh, here's a proper coconut one. Waikiki Peak Beach Coconut. Mm. The other one's more coconut, I think. I do love all the um, little hand gels that they do here. They all smell very nice. But a bit pricey, five for 15 pound in the UK. Just missing car air fresheners. I do like all their um, hand sanitizers. What are you? These are the primary ones. Champagne. Like what is it? Sunshine and lemon. Oh, that smells, that smells very lemony. Very fruity. Let us know what you think in the comments, guys. Do you use Bath and Body Works or is it an expensive ripoff? that uses far too much plastic. Ooh, that's nice, smell that. No, not bad. Linen. I really like this one, actually. Cinnamon spiced vanilla. That smells really good. Right, we're back at the lodge. Maisie and Hannah are making... Bark. Bark. Chocolate <laughs> bark with <laughs> lots, <laughs> lots of different things on. Aren't nice? Yeah. Ooh, I'll just have a little bit of that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh no, I messed it up, Maisie. Just stick something in the place where he just poked yeah. it. Yeah. Have you got biscoff in there? Oh, I like yeah. That. yeah. Oh, it needs more biscoff. It will. It needs farmer's just biscoff. Put a bit of meat mm. in there as well. Maltesers, biscoff. You kind of push it in as well. Put a bit of mint in that, there. That, one, that one's faulty. I'll have to remove it. Oh. <laughs> is this for after dinner then? Yeah. Yeah. This is our treat. Our last night treat. Because we're chefs. You're mm. a chef now, like Nick. Yes. Ooh, mint arrow is that? Yeah. Oh, don't ruin it with mint. It's in a corner because I know you don't like it. Put it all over. Right, you like we need to take Taylor Ooh. to see our friend at the garage. We do to get the dry belt looked at. We do. Nick's creating a meal for us all. Chicken and four cheese tagliatelle. What's Matt scoffing in the background? <laughs> Anything that's open. Lettuce and tomato. <laughs> yeah. Lettuce, I don't think Some so. I've never chicken. seen Mark eat lettuce mm -hmm. ever. <laughs> um, you're doing what? Four cheese? Four um, cheese and chicken and bacon tagliatelle. We're using up the remaining chicken from the um, entire farm that Mark bought before they go on tomorrow. Lee is about to try the best cheese sauce I've ever made. Four cheeses in there with smoky bacon. That is probably the best cheese sauce you've ever made. Cheese is a cheese sauce. How many do you rate that out of 10? 10, definitely. Oh my God. This is, I mean, there's more cheese. In, it's got milk, cheddar, bousson, um, parmesan, uh, garlic salt, and mature cheddar cheese grated. Even Mark's gonna like it. Right, we've had his food. Nick just cut Cam's hair um, and did a really good job. Uh, so well, Hannah's like, can you well, cut my There's a story. Well. I did half of it last night, but he went off into an absolute strop. 
because I hadn't even finished it. But he fixed it tonight. So and Hannah's like, happy. Hannah's I'm like, can, you, can you cut my hair? Before. So this is like a proper experiment. Once I've got my knots out. Yeah, it's, I've got hairspray as well, so it needs to be brushed out. So you're just trimming it out. You're just taking the ends off. I'm just going to straighten the ends. Well, this I've is right Saturday hair, night, so isn't it? I've oh, never Friday done this night, before. It's if it goes hideously wrong. Friday night. Thursday, Thursday night. night. God, life of a YouTuber. You can brush harder than that. Yeah, I'm just trying to get knots oh. out. <laughs> So you just want the ends cutting off? Yeah, it's fine. This'll be fun. <laughs> don't blame me. I don't care. I don't even know where to start. How far are you going to... Oh, wait a minute, this comb makes it really knotty. Yeah, I don't need what you do is you just brush it out so it's all flat and then you just trim it on the bottom. Oh, is that right, Mark? Mark, expert. Oh, right. Expert. Okay. Shall I, I just, shall I just like, like do yeah, that then? Oh, yeah? How oh, yeah, keep still then. Do you do it straight? Do you want it? Like straight. Straight, or do you want it rounded? No, straight. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing's out there. Yeah, it's going it. to be longer at the sides because it's dragging down. No, here. no, they the do it straight. I've seen them. I've seen them. Wow. Right. <laughs> oh, come around. The thing is, the side bits are long, and then they'll they're wrapping round. These long bits at the back will be the same length. So I would say do it straight. Well, I think the sides will end. I think the sides will end up longer. But we'll give it a go. What can go wrong? <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> 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 it's not a lot, I've just made it level. That's not wrong with that, it looks bloody brilliant. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> 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 Wait a minute, I haven't finished. Oh my god. <laughs> she looks like Lucius Malfoy now. <laughs> I'm just going to straighten the ends up now. I need some more water. I'm hoping water fixes it. I thought you were getting cut off like that. <laughs> you said you're not bothered. You said straighten it up. I'm not going to repass it anymore. My mouth fix it. I don't think you can fix that. I'm just going to stick it back on. Oh, this is hilarious. Oh, it's like an to be fair, it needs it. It's awful. It There's hardly any come off. No, it's bad. It's damaged and more than... <coughs> oh my god, don't go up there. <laughs> <laughs> right, wait a minute. There's no wrong with that. That actually looks alright, but I do think the sides will end up being longer than the back because it's wrapping round. It's like doing a van, but with air. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? Right. There's a few stragglers waiting there. I'm just going to level it. Keep still. Keep perfectly still. Oh my god. <laughs> Is there nothing Nick can't do? Uh, right, there we go. Seen it yet. Right, there you go, I'm done. Come on, don't you take I'll sweep this up. How can you tell if you like it or not? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to be taking a picture of the back. Oh no, that's fine. That's all I took off. This side feels a bit shorter. <laughs> no, 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 the sides will be longer because it's wrapped around your back. No, this side. What? Does it look shorter? <laughs> doesn't look any different, does it? <laughs> it doesn't feels look, like it. It doesn't look any different. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, it wasn't the sides. The hair at the back went longer at the middle and I just levelled it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a freaking hairdresser. To be fair, you, she gave you full disclosure. I don't, I don't, yeah, well, as long I'm as you got it on camera. I'm just... So you're you're going now, Matt. Nah, I'm alright. Wait a minute, I can fix it. <laughs> look in the mirror. Let me look in the mirror. Well, at least it's level at back. <laughs> That's why you... <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't know what... There's no wrong with that. Mrs. Malfoy. Oh, it's <laughs> actually a Yeah. I've literally took that... At the sides, it was like that I mean, much you took off. took that this much off. At the middle, the length at the back, yeah, I did. You said you're bothered to lop no, it off. No, I don't. But on the sides, there's, no, there's none taken off. Because at the back, it went like, at the back, it went like that, and I just levelled it. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the next day. Good morning, morning, morning. Can ever say up myself. Um, Hannah and Mark have just gone. Um, Maisie's face is down to the floor. Anna's, Hannah's is basically she's just well, she's crying now. They're just going over the Humber Bridge. But um, we've got uh, Taylor in the garage, the mechanical garage. Um, he's having um, the water bottle fixed. 
the drive belt checked and changed. And what was the third thing? The interior cab lights. I've been <coughs> looking, at, I've actually fitted a tracker onto, um, onto Taylor. So I've been looking on the tracker all morning to see whether he's taking it for a test drive and stuff like that. So uh, it's killing me that it's not here and I can't start doing st things on it because I've still got some bits and bats to finish. And um, It's 27 degrees in the lot. It's baking hot. It's, it's lovely baking. though. It's not as hot as, uh, as France. But um, it's nice and it's glad. I'm glad that the British summer is back again before after we've come back from France. Um, we've got a few chores to run. We have got to go to the post office. We've got some Amazon returns that we've got to send back for things that were either too big or too small. When the uh, van comes back, it's going to do a full explanation of the electric system. Yes. So not really a time when Mark has been here. There's just we... one more thing before we do that that I have to fit. Uh, because we're having a gas boiler fitted, which is also part electric as well. So when we're on campsites on hookups, you can actually, when you hook up to, to the shore, it stops using the gas and starts using the uh, the electric on site. So, it's had a crisis. The card filled up with uh, data. We had about 30 seconds left, so we had to cut that last scene short. So I was going to do some hellos, which I'm going to do now. Now Lee's updated the card. So, first of all, hello to Rachel J, uh, Nikki M, Louise R, Donald F, uh, George P, Lou, uh, David M, Jem M, and Steve and M. C. Thanks guys for joining our community, either on Patreon or YouTube members. I've been altering Discord a little bit. We've got lots of new um, chat channels on there now. Including a van life one, Including which a van is quite life popular. One. Yeah, it is very popular actually. Lots of people are, are chatting in there. And I've also created Universal Studios one, finally, for lots of people who love Universal more than Disney. Andy split Disney away from Florida. So there's a Disney, Florida in general, and a Universal. Yeah. And normal travel and van life. Lots of And they're chat all channels. active and... So if you fancy coming and chatting with us all, um, check out our Patreon or YouTube members. Right, we're going to go out, drop stuff off, and maybe get a cup of tea somewhere. Oh yes, we haven't done that for ages. Nope. Right, we just had a nice catch up with our friends Jackie and Richard. I like it when that kind of happens, you just drive past someone's house, and they kind of wave, you think, all right, and then we're like, oh come in, we'll come in for a cup of tea. We had a nice catch up, no alcohol, just tea, um, and uh, we, that was nice. And while we were there, the... Um, garage called and there's no nasty surprises with Taylor. I'll let Nick tell you what he said. It basically said that um, he's changing the drive belt. It didn't do the noise that it's been doing and That's I think it's because it's sound. warm weather and I actually had a dream last night that he called me and told me that so when he called and said that I was like I can't believe he's just done that. <laughs> anyway while he got all the lid off and everything and he said when was the, the cam belt changed so we went back and looked at the service history and it was done like in 2019, about 20,000 miles ago. And then he, and then when I rang him back, he said, oh yeah, I can see it's been done. So that's all good. I think he's fixed the water bottle. Yeah, uh, the water bottle was leaking so we couldn't yeah. keep any water for the, for the washer wipers. He's put some chalk in it. Um, hopefully that'll seal it. He said something about replacing the pump, but I couldn't really understand whether he'd ordered it or he would order it if it didn't fix it. For the water bottle? Yeah and um, he didn't mention the cab lights, so I'm waiting for him to call me so we can go and pick her up. Mm, fingers crossed, Nick's really missing her. Taylor. I've got things to do. <laughs> He's like, I miss her, I miss her. Um, so um, we're just gonna go and drop all our uh, returns off and then uh, just wait for the call to go and pick her up. Slice when, of peas for tea. When you said you were gonna uh, make tea, I thought... Uh, do, you want, do you want a slice of mushy peas? <laughs> I bet. Quality to, British food. I bet you can say, I bet to like an American that looks absolutely disgusting. Mushed up peas to but serve it, with fish it and is jacket potatoes. Very nice, isn't it? It's a British tradition. Yeah, so we're, we're having that and we've, we, had some bad news. we've had some bad news, but wait a minute, we're having fish and a baked potato. We have had some bad news and it's not really bad news, it's just the fact that we can't get the van back today. He called, he said he needed a little bit more time to work on whatever he's working on. He'd ordered some tensioners and it had more tensioners than he'd ordered and he hasn't got enough. So we're um, not getting it back all weekend. So we have a weekend off and I'm already pacing the lodge because I have so many plans. We have a weekend off uh, van building um, and Nick is struggling already because he's so into this project, he doesn't know what to do with himself. I'm just catching up on some... I'm just walking around, I'm like, literally, I'm like a polar bear in zoo. Walking around lodge. Uh, so he's making tea. And then I think we're going to catch up on the latest episode of Star Trek Strange New World. Mark slipped up and left his beer. Thanks, Mark. Hello, Bob. Brewdog called beer. Well, there you go then. Yeah. So there you go then. You got something to talk about yourself, having a yeah. can of beer. Nick's just testing out there a fire alarm in the background. Just sort of like chilling and thinking, oh, it would be nice if we had something cool and cold. And then we remembered 
Maisie's lollies. Maisie, Hannah and Mark bought her some um, SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants ice cream lollies. That's very nice. I've already had one. So I'm just going to have one because it's so hot tonight. I observe it. it's 28 27 degrees. 27. Degrees. Uh, Nick's already had one. Um, I'm an vanilla and chocolate flavoured. Right. I'm going to chill now. I'm just going to catch up on some vlogs. Nick's going to go and chill. He's already in his pants because it's that warm. Um, so I'll just move the camera around while he's walking past. Bye. We'll see you in the morning. Welcome to a new day. Um, it's actually three o'clock in the afternoon. We've just been having a catch up day and we went over for a coffee with some friends. Just got back in the nick of time. It started raining when we were walking around. Um, so we've not got the van here, it's in the garage, but we thought we'd show you all the things that we've got. It's raining. At the moment, um, you might want to shut that door. Just make sure it doesn't rain in. Um, we're going to show you all the things that we've got for the van at the moment that we've been purchasing, like um, interior stuff, like the shower, the taps. We've shown it all briefly, but we thought we'd show you now some things properly, like, don't think we've shown that before. Um, so Nick's got it all out, so I'm going to let him show you. He's currently in a SpongeBob SquarePants um, ice cream, mm. which Maisie left. Um, so, first of all, I'll show you this. This is the shower that we're going to be putting in to the shower in the van. <clears throat> so we wanted all like black um, things. So it's, the, it's the riser rail on the, yeah, the tank. And that's very, did you get it especially because it's so light? No. That's really light. Um, so that's going to be the shower in the van. It's a Croydex. Anything that we got from Amazon, Nick's going to put on our Amazon store. That We're getting quite a lot of stuff from Amazon just because it comes so quickly. Almost everything's from Amazon. Um, that's the shower tap that goes with it. Yep. So they match exactly. Yeah. Completely different brand, but they'll go together. All right, okay. Oh, I thought that would match. Then it's just, no, it's just it's a foam. Fluff, fluff. So that's going in the shower. Um, what's next? So the next is the tap for the kitchen sink. So it's the same as the one that we've got on the lodge taps here, but it's black. As you can tell, we're going for a black theme. Yeah. So let me just pull the weight. Oh, wait a minute, where is the weight? It's in there, it's fine. Panic not. There we go. So we really liked the one that we got here with the dual function yep. and the spray. So we wanted one of those. Um, exactly the same pretty much as the other one. Apart from this one has three modes, I think it has. Okay. Um, but we'll have to look when we get that installed. So let me just pop that back in. So the next thing is the sink. As you can imagine, it's a black sink. So because it's a camper van, it can't have a full size sink and we wanted metal but we didn't want like plastic Well, I'm sink. sure some camper vans have got full size sinks, but we've not gone well, for we, full we don't. size sink. We've gone for... So it's going to go that way on the worktop. It's so we'll be stood there, the wind will be there. Stainless steel black. Yep. It's also got sound deadening on it, so there's no like tinny noise. Yep. It's absolutely banging it down now. Yeah. And the sun's out. Yeah. Be a rainbow soon. So that's to go in. That's when we get the kitchen. We kind of, each time we've, we've done something, we've kind of ordered a little bit and then waited, fitted it and then ordered something else and we've realised that's not probably the best way of doing it because when we did the electrics we realised we needed to put cables under the floor so in hindsight what I would do again on the next build is create a massive kit list, buy it all and make sure that everything's on hand so when you're putting floor down you can run your wires in in advance and things like that. Note how Nick says on the next build. If we do it. Like he's planning one already. Possibly. <laughs> Depends whether we get bored of this one or whether we do it and sell it or whatever. So in here, we have the cassette, which is a cream and I don't like it. So I'm actually gonna spread that. For... That's for the back skylight. So the roof's gonna be white, the skylight's white, but this is cream for some reason. So this we will be spraying white. The same as what we did when we did the computer monitors at the apartment. So I don't know how that's gonna turn out. We have another one, exactly the same, which is gonna go on the extractor fan at the front. So blind and fly screen. I think we'll only probably use the the, uh, the blind side because the fan itself has got a fly screen built in. Again, we'll be spraying that. And then on the side window, I'm not even sure we're going to use this to be honest. Well, I would imagine so because but it's got the cassette, this fly screen and black out blind. It's bright white and yet it's going to be all black taps and things like that. So maybe we've got to have some contrast there. Well, maybe we've painted black, I don't know. No, well, yeah, we'll see. So that's the blind for that window. And then again, if you want the window open, it's got a fly screen on it. Yeah. There we go. That's why we've got to use that because yeah. it's all, all 
Perfect. Now I've got stuff together. So these we got when we got the blind, but they've just been sat in the box until the roof's finished. So once we finish the painting, um, these can go up and then it just gets another box out of the way. Right, so in here, we've literally got a, a collection bits of and bits bats. and bats. So these are going to be the, the, um, the lights that are going to go above the door and below the door. Um, we're going to have, I think there's a 12 set here. Uh, 12 set, we're only going to use eight of them. So that's going to be for the bottom of the step and the top of the arch that we're going to build. These are the sockets, double black nickel. Um, we've got the single sockets and we've got the double sockets. We've also got the light switches that match. Um, we got these from Timu, <laughs> little finger condoms. So basically when you're doing like holding nails that's going to cut your fingers, you put these little balloons on the end of your finger and they roll down. I've never seen it like it ever, but it was like 50 pence off Timu. And you literally, like that. I look forward to seeing you use them. So you put them on your fingers and it just stops your fingers from getting like shards of metal in because I've suffered from holding the screws and then bits of metal have come off and then gone into my finger. So the rest of this box really is kind of plumbing parts. Bits and bats and, and don't forget the, um, the wood. So that is what's going to go on the wall with the secret door. That one. We're going to go with that one. That's too dark so we can get rid of that. And then we're going to linseed oil it just to make it darker because I think it looks a bit untreated there. Yeah. So I need to order that when we get the van back. Um, then the rest of the stuff is is probably, oh wait a minute, this is for behind the kitchen cupboards at the top. And then we've got another one that will fit in the kitchen cupboards below. So they don't need to match because they're going to be hidden. Um, we've got lots of plumbing parts. That is for the grey water tank. That is to connect the shower drain into the grey water tank. So this will have to be cut down. Uh, we've got another plug socket, uh, another one there, lots of plumbing parts, it's all John Guest 12 mil stuff, so literally you put the pipe in, you connect and then pull it and it locks and it seals it. Um, little T-junctions, these are for when we make the kitchen, the cupboards, so we can hold like the plywood together in there. These are okay, I might need to order another one. Broken already, yep. Yeah. you joking? No, I'm not. Snapped. Was that from Timu? Oh, no, it's just a spring that's come out. It was a Timu thing, yeah. There we go. So that's just to hold um, like a kitchen unit in while it glues and stuff. And I got four of them. We got this for the kitchen sink. Not realizing when I ordered it that the kitchen sink actually comes with it. So that will go down into the waste pipe in the floor, which we need to drill. And then the waste pipe from the kitchen sink will go into there. And hopefully it doesn't leak. Um, a little water filter, which will go on the main water feed, so any particles in the water that are in the water tank don't feed through to the tap. Um, little isolating valves for the water, so there'll be one of these on the hot water feed for the shower, the kitchen taps and the boiler. Um, some more bits from Timu that I got, little thing to connect the drill, you can use it as a little cutter. Pipe cutters. Mm, that's about it for that box. This is a hammock that we got from, where was this from? Was it from Temu? Yeah, where's the hammock um, clips? No. I presume they're on there. I brought some bolts. Oh. Might be, might so be we're going to have a hammock, um, some hammock clips hanging off the back of the van so that we can have a hanger. A tree or something. Ha yeah, so we can have a hammock at the back of the van at some point. What else um, have we got? Here we've got some, so when the garage at the back is done, we're going to line the floor with like coin rubber so it'll have a nice clean boot. So the electric cupboard will be on one side, the gas and the water will be on the other and they'll be locked in cupboards and then the middle bit will be lined in this. In here we have all the air ducting. So the heat from the heater, which I'm going to show you in a minute. That doesn't actually move, that's as stiff as anything. So these ducts will sit like that, you open the little vent and that will come out under the kitchen cupboards and warm the van up when we uh, use it in cold weather. And then, this beast here is our boiler. Where the frig's that going to go in garage? It's going to go half stuck under the water tank. Right. So it's got a 10 litre hot water tank in there, it's a boiler, it's a heater, and it's a hot water tank all in one. So this, we're going to get somebody to plumb in, we're not doing this ourselves. Um, I don't really want to be messing with gas. 
No. So we will get somebody else to fit that, and it comes with more than in there. And that's it. All oh, the that other stuff is bits and bats yeah. and tools. Oh, we got these yesterday from Amazon. So if you know what Wago clips are, so you'll know what these are. These are a cheap version. So we're going to use these for all the 12 volt lighting and other things. You can use them for a, um, 240, 230 volt systems if you want. So literally, they're like little connector blocks, but they're the modern day version. You put your wires in there, you flick the little levers and it literally puts a like a sharp crimp into the wire and then connects it to a metal plate at the back, creating a connection. So there you go. That's going to be when we get Taylor back because we've got to finish the um, the lights yeah. and things like that. So that's our supply area at the moment, which we'll now need to uh, tidy up a little bit. Which we are reducing slowly. Yeah. So it's a number of hours later. What, what did we set update last? Went for a coffee, didn't we? We were showing all that stuff. Oh yeah, we did all the shopping stuff. So um, we are just about to record a podcast. We've not done one of these for a long, long time. It's available to uh, YouTube members and Patreon members. And it's going to be about the favourite topic of the month, which is going to be our van build and what we did wrong and what we would change, the mistakes that we made. Um, Even though we're nowhere near finished. Well, we're we're nowhere near finished, but we have made a lot of mistakes and we've learned from those mistakes. And if we ever did it again, this podcast will explain some of the things. So I'm just going to get this set up. What are you doing? Waiting for you to get that set up. And Drinking wine. wine. Yeah. Right, let me get the software. Like, I wish we had some nibbles, but we don't. Apart we are from, dieting again. Oh, mind you, I can't eat nibbles when I'm doing a, a podcast. No. Because it'll be crunching. I um, can't even, it's been that long, I can't even remember what the software is that we used. So if you like podcasts, we do have some that's already recorded <coughs> and we plan on doing more. Um, it's available for our YouTube community members and our Patreon members that are on all tiers from the very lowest one. Um, so check out our Patreon, our YouTube community members. The links are in the description of this yes. video. Um, so there we go. Let's get cracking on this. I've got a few things to say. I've got a notepad somewhere. I need to go and get it. I've got lots of things written down. Right, you could get it while I find out what flaming software we used. Right, we've had snacks. And Nick's remembered the software. I haven't. I've had to download some new software. Ah, well, well, let's hope it works. I've just tested it. It does. So, it's just an audio recording. This if is it's our, all wrong, we have to do it again. mic. Which we use for the uh, podcasts. And we've got a laptop with some software on it we called Audio, uh, Audio, Audacity, which is a new piece of software. So, fingers mm. crossed, it's good software. It's killing me not having Taylor here to be able to do some work because I've got so many things. Um, we're using Google Keep to keep a list of all the jobs that we're doing, um, that we're like, tracking as, as progress and things like that. So, are we going to crack on? Mm. Right, here we go then. Hi guys, and welcome to our latest podcast. So um, we thought we would do one because of the uh, the change in direction of the, the vlogs at the minute. And we're getting a lot of questions from you guys regarding some of the things that we're working on with the van project. So yes. we thought we would do a bit of a podcast. Do we need a new theme tune for the podcast? We haven't got a theme van tune. Van build podcast. <laughs> we, haven't got a, we haven't got a theme tune for no, any podcast at no, the minute. No. Right, 40 minutes. And um, we just edited it and just um, recorded it. It's currently exporting, so we're both sat here on tender hooks. Because it's new software. It's new software, and if this doesn't export and it crashes, we've got to record the whole thing again. And it was 40 minutes of talking non stop, and it's seven seconds away from completing. You yeah, drop camera, I'm very nervous. So, seven seconds. it was a um, 40 minute vlog about van life and some other updates and some Let's things. Let's test it, hold on. Some things that's coming up in vlogs and stuff like that. Sounds like it's worked. Oh, you're quiet. I told you to shout up. Anyway. It's I'm just a quiet person. I'm always a quiet person. Um, so there we go. Check that out if you're on our Patreon or YouTube members. Um, so there we go. I'm going to enjoy this glass of wine and then I might make something to eat. We're going to have beans on toast on um, on bread. Yeah. I'm starving, actually. Well, on toast. Actually. Cheap beans, little beans, cheap little beans with sausages. Come on, if you're starving, let's make it. Come on. Such a dirty tea, but we absolutely love it, don't we? I had to fix my um, fan. We had too little. There's still a crack there. It um, cracked in the suitcase once coming back from Florida. Yeah. And it's now super glued on one side and super glued on the other side. Should it's never break again now. Still working though. 
best thing I've ever got that to go to Florida. I will say that the black one is not as good as the white no, one. The, white the, black, the black one's got a heating element and it grips your neck it and it makes, makes you sweat. It sweat a little bit, so if you can get the white version. It's uh, discontinued, unfortunately. But there are, other, there are other versions on our Amazon store. Have a look on our Amazon store. We've got different ones that we've put on there that are very similar to that one. But I can't go to Florida without that, that anymore. Yes. And the other one, my mum lent, which I've still got to get back from her partner. Yeah. So, good morning guys, it's the next day. We forgot to finish the vlog last night, so we're gonna do it now, and then we're gonna start a new one. Um, I'm still pacing the lodge because I can't do any work on Taylor. But we have things to do today. Yes, we're gonna to go to Beverly, we're gonna meet some friends uh, who are up from Nottingham. We're gonna show them 42nd Bake Street, and then the kids, Janine and his mum and dad are coming over for three days. Three days, couple of days. Back end of this week, we have to go home for two days because we've got some, um, some work stuff to deal with and some chores over there. Uh, so I don't know what we're going to be doing on Taylor this week. It might be end up being a week well, off. Depends no. whether he comes back tomorrow. She comes back tomorrow or not. He or she. Who cares? Taylor's yeah. a man and a girl's name. It's so whatever. Yeah. It's Taylor. Yeah. Um, it's a they. It's a they. That's what it is. So it's whatever. Right. Well, can you get ready? Um, so fingers crossed we get Taylor back tomorrow. And um, there you go. He's going to finish the vlog. Right. So if you're new to our channel, guys, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell. So you get like a ping on your phone, your tablet, or your PC when we get new videos go live. Don't forget to drop us a comment. We do read all comments and we'll be back in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.